As I've been leading you up to programming on the AT Tiny 85, one thing I should point out is that I typically use one of these Spark Fun Tiny Programmers. Um, oops, upside down. Let me fix that for you. Tiny Programmers from Spark Fun. I'll include a link to it in the in the description. But that doesn't mean you need to use one of these. They're all set up to do it. But you can just use an Arduino uh, Uno, for instance. Uh, I'll show you how to hook up an Arduino Uno and write a program to the AT Tiny 85 using that. So here we have an AT Tiny 85 hooked up, popped into a breadboard. I'm going to supply five volts and ground to rail. I've got a capacitor just to smooth out the voltage. And then I have four wires coming from the Arduino Uno. So first of all, let's connect the voltage and ground to the AT Tiny 85. So voltage is pin whatever that is, it's pin eight and ground is pin four. And remember, I believe I showed this before, but bear in mind the way the numbering of the pins works is one is top left. If you look at this curve, consider this top left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then you will connect. We're going to do a blink. So we're going to connect um, a basic LED, just a normal LED to our circuit. Um, There we go. Well, maybe I'll put it on this end because it's connected to this end of the... There we go. And the resistor will connect to, oops, pin five. And the other side of the LED will connect to ground. Like that. Pin 10 will connect to the reset switch. Reset pin, excuse me. And that's pin 1 on the AT1085. Pin 11 will connect to the LED. Pin 12 connects to pin 6 on the AT Tiny 85. And pin 13 connects to pin 7. It's all twisty. It's funny how this all twisted up. Hold on. So if we go 13 to 7. Twelve to six. Eleven to five. There. That should have this play a little bit nicer. Oh, the reset. We'll feed that underneath so it doesn't want to move. Okay, so let's see. 
And that is, those are our connections. So I'm taking into account that we have already loaded in the boards from the boards manager. Uh, the video for that is, will be linked in the description and also probably at the end of the video, of this video. So let's pretend that you've done that. Now what we want to do is we want to plug in our Arduino Uno and we want to get the examples and go Arduino ISP and Arduino ISP so that we can load this onto our Uno so it can run as a programmer for um, run as a programmer for the ATtiny85. Okay? So let's change our for our tools. We want to go to board, Arduino AVR board, Arduino Uno. That'll switch over. We'll look, make sure the COM port is correct. Yep. And then we upload this to the Arduino Uno. And once that is done, we can open up, we're gonna use the Blink Basics. So File, Basics, Blink. I've made the, the text way bigger for, for us, but um, you know, it's fine. Oops. So basic blink, you're going to want to change the pin that it's calling. So it's not LED built in. In fact, you're connected to pin zero. So change LED built in to zero. Oops, not O, but zero. And now we're going to change the board to AT Tiny 85. Remember to make sure it's set to the processor set to AT Tiny 85. And the clock is the internal internal 8 megahertz. I believe that's correct, but if it isn't, we'll see pretty fast. And then lastly, you want to change your programmer, Arduino, to Arduino as ISP. Okay, and we'll try to upload that and see what happens. And nothing. Possibly I have this backwards. <laughs> yeah. So I have my LED backwards, but here we can see the blink working just as we would expect it, all running off the AT Tiny 85. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug my Arduino which will remove the power to the ATtiny85 and I'm going to unplug the connections that aren't that aren't just power and ground okay so power and ground still leading because I still need to power the ATtiny85 somehow they'll still come from the Arduino and the rest of it is running on the controller itself. So when I power the AT Tiny back up, it runs its blink cycle. So there we go. Easy bow breezy.